So welcome back to some more Super Mario Galaxy 2, where last time we rambled on about uh, random stuff, like talking about Dark Souls and such, while getting some more green stars. I am a, a great commentator, sure. This <laughs> is this time we're continuing on the trend. I don't get any more one-ups. You are rude. And God, we're almost done. We are so close to being done. It's uh, kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. But at least we get to relax a little bit by going into Slimy Spring. It's very nice indeed. So I guess since we're... Uh, I already hear one, or is that the... Oh, it's right behind one of the things. Okay. Not too bad. So since we're just taking a stroll on through Green... Er, Green Star 1, yeah. Through Slimy Spring Galaxy. I can just talk about random stuff as we're going on through here. The first one shouldn't be that far off. At, hello, bat, uh, the bat. I was going to call you a keys at first, but yeah, no. You are a bat. You are not from Zelda. I uh, am very happy because uh, I recently have upgraded my... Uh, well, okay. I'm going to call it a pseudo three uh, monitor setup. I say pseudo because uh, the TV that I used to uh, record off of, I have now replaced with my old monitor. And I got two new monitors for my uh, big boy computer. So now I'm getting a lot more quality. And it's actually a lot better setup because I have a lot more room and a lot more screen real estate to work with. So it's very nice. I am very happy with it thus far. And, uh, you know, I'm getting used to it. My cursor is like a lot more accurate now. So our first green star is right behind this thing. Uh, oh god, oh god, Ouija buddy, Ouija buddy, oh god, Ouija. I can turn the, I did not know I could turn the camera in this section. I was just kind of like an honor scroller kind of thing. But what I was getting into is that the reason I replaced my old TV is because, and the TV still works, don't get me wrong, it's, god, I've had that since college. So it's been working for quite a while. Um, the reason I replaced it is because, one, my current setup made it to where part of the TV was blocked, so for the last few, oh god, like, I want to say 15, 16 episodes of this series, I was playing completely off of capture, which, for those who are not in the know, is not exactly a good idea for the most part. Now, I've never really experienced any issues with it, it's worked pretty good for me, but I know for some people, or actually a lot of people, this very, very big reason why people don't play off of Capture. It's usually because Capture is delayed a little bit, like maybe by a second or so, but it's enough of a difference that it can make live commentary kind of awkward, so. Personally, I never had an issue with it, and that's why I stuck with it for a while, but I really wanted the upgrade, and so, you know, as an early birthday present to myself, I guess. Uh, well, actually, it was gifted to me, but I digress. An early gift was uh, the two monitors, and I'm very happy with it. So now I have a trip set up, and it works so so beautifully. So I don't know if uh, if you're into content creation, you do not need so many screens. Like I would say, at most, maybe two screens that you would ever need. For me, though, it's just it helps out a lot if you have multiple screens. So. Because, uh, I think I mentioned it before, but before I ever even got the main computer, I was running off of a laptop. Also, you do not want to spin in this. The green star is on the opposite side of the 1-Up. Onwards to the last galaxy in this entire world. It's kind of sad, really. I mean, not really sad, but bittersweet, I guess. Better, bittersweet. But yeah, like I was saying, for the longest time I was running off just of a laptop screen and a uh, external monitor that I had plugged into it. So, having the screen real estate back is very nice indeed. I'll stop talking about it because I know not everybody's interested in that topic, but I'm just happy about it, damn it, and I wanted to get my excitement out, I guess. I don't know. At least we get this beautiful song right back here, and uh... Honestly, the green stars here, if I remember correctly, are really easy. Like, there's one right at the beginning here. But, hey, at least we get to see Ouija at the very last level. Oh, I mean, you're dying for that stupid hammer. 
You're a dick. Let me spin. And can I crush you? Nope, I have to kick you. Well, I only get one shot at the star. Because <laughs> if I remember right, it is in a really precarious location. Uh, where is it? I think I hear it. I'm just gonna spin for a sec now. Okay, it's not back here. Oh yeah, it's over there, it's over there. Oh God. Uh, please don't catch on fire. Okay, we should be good. So let's grab that star. I'll meet you guys back in to the same instance, because it's only, well, one instance. Back here once again. It is kind of crazy how uh, close we're getting to the very end. We are very close to 100%ing this game. Now, for veterans of this game, you know what's at the very end. And I'm going to grab the Deluxe Shroom. Just, or is it Life Shroom? Yeah, it's, it's Life Shroom. I am going to grab this just in case something bad happens, so... Because you never know, you never know. But I guess uh, talk about other random stuff, right? Is this? Uh, I finally broke my curse on never being a Paper Mario game because I did recently beat uh, Thousand Year Door, and holy crap, that game is amazing. I mean, it's kind of easy to say that it's my favorite Paper Mario game because it's the only one I've really played through all the way. But it's still really freaking good. I highly recommend if you've never played a pi uh, yeah, Paper Mario game before or. You'd never really liked 64 or even the more recent ones. Thousand Year Door is really good. It's more of a traditional RPG, at least for the Paper Mario series. And honestly, I don't know why they got rid of that entire formula because I guess because it got too similar to the Mario and Luigi series, and well, we saw how well that turned out for them. This and we're gonna go out for the dream, but still, uh, what the balls was that, Luigi man? Come on. Thank God, thank God that doesn't just disappear. So yeah, it's uh, it does suck what happened to the Paper Mario series as it plays, but you know what? Hopefully now that Thousand Year Door has done really good, hopefully that will teach Nintendo to actually go back to the roots with it a little bit because uh, it it had a good formula going. I mean, it started with Paper Mario 64, but I mean, it lasted at least up until well. The main system lasted until Thousand Year Door, and then Super Paper Mario did weird stuff, but even then, people still love Super Paper Mario. Even you guys in the comments have mentioned uh, the love for that game, and actually how or how much you guys actually want me to LP that game at some point in the future. And that will definitely be up for consideration. I definitely want to play through it myself at one point, but, you know, Paper Mario games are definitely in the realm of possibility, especially since, well, this game's almost done, and... We'll only have one other, well, I guess two paper, er, yeah, paper Mario, derp. We'll have two more uh, 3D Mario games, technically, if I decide to do 64, which I don't know if I will, because everybody and their mother has LP'd that game. That, uh, that works, kind of. Just, just get back over here. I mean, I need to land up on top of the thing here, so wait for Fireball. Okay, there we go. Should be able to just spin. All right, I'm just going to take the long way, because uh, I guess we get Cloud Ouija, that's fine. Alright, let's just jump, wait for the boat, let the I am sucking a lot today. This then again, it's been like a week since I last played the game, because uh, recording schedule and such, but I digress, I still suck. Alright, let's hop up here. I should be able to get a bunch of coins back. Yeah, if I go down here, uh, awkward, there we go. This is... Luigi is just so floaty, especially within the cloud suit form, so. Just fly it like this. The thing I gotta watch out for here, too, is, uh. Since Luigi can backflip super high, it's very easy. It's very easy for me to run into bullet bills. Hello, Luma. I need you to bring me to another place. Thank you, buddy. So, I guess another thing, as we're getting to the green star, I think I remember. Oh, you do want. Okay, I'm not gonna take this flag, and it's simply because the green star is out here. Uh, can I get that? I'm definitely gonna try. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Wow, with the floatiness, yeah. Mario definitely would not have made that. Yeesh. As I was saying, well, actually, I'll save that till we get to the next galaxy, but 
World 6 is done! <laughs> and that's kind of concerning me, because the way I wanted to... Oh, God. Again, for veterans of this game, you know what I'm kind of dreading up here? For the very last bit of the game? It's, uh, kind of terrifying. Welcome to World S, for the last time. And this is where green stars are going to be even tougher to obtain. Although Mario Squared, I don't remember being that bad. I think there's just like two underneath certain platforms. Uh, well that tells me a lot. Thank you, game. I think there's like one underneath Mario's right fit. Would it be left? At the left side of him over there. I think that's... Well, I, I don't know, actually. Alright, star will be here. No, duh. Okay. So I guess we'll just get near one of the platforms. I'll save what rant I was going to talk about in, in a sec, because these ones are pretty quick. Uh, okay, yeah, I was right about one being on the left side over here. So, uh, the question is, you're right here. Never mind, that answers all my questions. And the other one's on the right side. That's really easy. Onwards, back over to Mario Square. Uh, oh, I accidentally got the second st- Get! <laughs> okay, well, how are you supposed to know which one's which, man? I guess the furthest one away would be the second one, huh? So I guess we'll go and get this. I Again, I want to talk about what I was going to talk about, but, uh... Okay, so it's is it around here? No, it's on the left. Okay, it's over here somewhere. Let me just kind of look around. Oh, er, never mind. It's right on here. Okay. Maybe in the next galaxy, I'll get to talk about the thing. I was wondering, man, that shadow is freaking out. Yeesh. I forgot about Rolling Coaster. I thought we were going into the secret level in, from uh, Sunshine. These ones suck. Oh, no, I am not looking forward to this. Because uh, one of them is on the hard course, and then I don't know where the crap the other... Oh, I... I yep, there it is. Rolling Coaster has the most infamously tough green stars you could ever get. They are in really, really weird locations. And plus, you get to deal with motion controls. Fun! Fun. Well, I was going to talk about earlier, and it's not related to this game, it's just random personal stuff, but well, not really personal stuff. Uh, since I have beaten uh, Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door, I have more recently started playing through uh, Elden Ring. Because I gave it a couple tries back then, and I never got rageful at it or anything like that, but I just kind of got bored with it, because I didn't know where I was going, and oh god, this star can be really awkward. Alright, I'm going for the second one then. So yeah, I, uh, I, when the game first came out, I very quickly just kind of gave up on it. Uh, I mean, like, for those who know about that game, I got up to, like, Altus Plateau, and then I was like, man, it's just, I'm just done. <laughs> like... I'm tired of fumbling around and trying to figure out where to go, so... I, uh, I quickly gave up on it because I just got bored with it, which... A lot of people might get pissed off with that statement, but, I mean... I just... I don't know, man. I've never been a fan of just fumbling around and finding stuff out. I know that sounds stupid, but... I've always been a guy who just played with guides and stuff like that, so... That's why. Okay, so this star is on the right. Can I roll into it? Okay, well, I was waiting for that to happen. Okay, well, at least we can try again for these two. I do recommend just keep trying over and over, at least on one of the stars. Like, if you miss the first one, try to go for the second one, because there are no checkpoints here, so... But yeah, recently I went back to playing more Elden Ring, and so far I've gotten, um... Again, for those who know, um the game. I, the last boss I killed was Estelle, which was uh, part of the Ronnie quest thing, which I was thinking that boss was a lot tougher than it actually is, but yeah, no, that thing I kind of first tried. Oh, God. Uh, what the? Bombs can kill you. Noted. I mean, I died once to that boss simply because there was no sight of grace next to it, and I had, like, no healing, because I was kind of there way early on than I should have been. But, you know, I, I do recommend for those, um... The, the problem... Well, it's not the problem with it. It's that it's so, um, marketed as a Souls game. But it is a game that you shouldn't be thinking of as a Souls game. It, I know it sounds weird to say that, but... 
you haven't you kind of have to treat it like a breath of the wild like big open world rpg because that's what it is okay god this is so hard to control so like what, what am i supposed to, is it with pointer or with the no it's tilt yeah it's tilt okay that's what i'm flubbing up but yeah, you have to think of that game as a giant open world game, just not as a Souls game. Now, now for the fights, absolutely think of it as a Souls game, because it essentially is, but... As for main exploration and, you know, just playing through the game normally, like, literally just look around and fumble around and see what landmarks are out there, because... While it may be very, very slow, it is quite enjoyable if you run into the wrong things. Uh, please, 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 please. God, this is hard! I told you, these ones are really difficult. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we spend the rest of the entire episode on this. I may get a game over here now that I think about it, because I don't have any extra lives. Oh, uh, God, I hope I can just get my A game on here, because this just sucks. I'm sorry, these great stars here are the worst, so. I guess it kind of works out for delaying the inevitable final galaxy, but, uh, jeez. I don't want to be stuck on here forever. Alright, try to get this first one at least. So, uh, let's try at least. I pressed jump and it freaking nothing happened. God, it's because I was already rolling off the thing by the by the time I pressed A. Okay, so we go for the other ones. Yeah, all right, or the other one. At least there's only two here. But this one, I, I'm willing to say this one's worse than the first one. The first one, you just have to have really good timing. This other one just sucks. I'm sorry, it just does. <sighs> Anyways. I'm pretty sure you could just roll into it, kind of like in... I was about to say Rolling Gizmo, that is Galaxy 1. I can't remember the Galaxy name, damn it. Just... Okay. So this one, you kind of want to veer to the right a little, but not too much. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. I... You do have to jump into it, because I rolled right past it. Okay. If it takes me too long, I will skip ahead until I can get at least one of these damn stars. Because, again, it, the way they look, they don't look too bad, but yeah, no, these are hard. These are very hard green stars to go after, so. Okay. Attempt number whatever the hell this is. Maybe if I stop talking about random stuff about Elden Ring, then maybe I can actually get on with the game. But, I don't know, I, I just like talking about random stuff sometimes, so. Especially since we're not doing anything else but just playing the game, so. Uh, no. God, it's so hard to control this stupid ball. And I can't really blame it on anything, because I... The weird boat's working just fine, so it's not that. I, the only person I can blame is myself, so... I do have some self of, uh... I don't know, some sense of... I don't know what I'm trying to say, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm better than to blame everything else but myself. That's what I'm trying to say, cheech. At least I have a crap ton of coins leaving out of this. <laughs> okay. Can I at least get the second star? Now this one, maybe I could just slow down a little. That's not gonna be very doable, but I can try. That's all I needed to do. Okay, two's done, one to go. Ah, uh, here we go, number one for rolling coaster. <laughs> Yeesh. And Lubba is already yelling exclamation points at me saying, hey, maybe you should take a break. Like, man, I've only been recording for not even 30 minutes. Screw you. Anyways, let's uh, see if I don't get stuck on the thing. I mean, here's the good thing. If we didn't get past this, we don't have to deal with motion controls for the rest of the entire damn game besides spinning. Which, I mean, spinning doesn't really count as... Uh, does it count as motion control? I don't know. I'm thinking too far into it. Okay. Try to maintain control and go for this star, because uh, I think what uh, the problem I'm getting to is I'm going too fast. And oh god, da -da. wow! Why am I good at getting hard stars? When I complain about the difficulty. Like seriously, and several of you guys in the comments have mentioned was like. Why are you good at getting the hard stuff out of the way, but yet you struggle on the easier stuff? I don't know, man. I'm weirdly cursed, I guess. Or blessed in that factor. I don't know. Anyways, that's where I'm going to end things off with this one. So, next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we'll be trying to clear out the rest of World S. 
one star at a time. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.